So, Arsenal, Dos, 10-man Fulham, without their best player, who now plays in Saudi for Al Halal. Dos. Uh, starting 11, shambles. First minute, shambles. But Starboy, Ronaldinho, Mark II. Nobody's calling him out. But if that was Xhaka, if that was, I don't know, Zinchenko maybe, if that was Fabio Vieira, yeah, if that was Eddie, yeah, if that was one of the favorite, the non non favorites, they'd be in the mud. Then, cool, we get back in the game. Fabio Vieira probably his best game for Arsenal or his best performance. Um, wins a penalty, we score it. Saka, fair play, worst game for Arsenal by the way. Saka, um, Martin Odegaard, anonymous, but Eddie and Ketty is in the room. Your defense is in trouble. Two in three, fair play to him. Trossard gets hooked at half time. Not quite sure why, but it worked. Up until the 87th minute, Brandon. Ten men. Ten men. And then Adama Traore probably could have won it. Good save from Ramsdale. Talk to me, bro. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. I don't know about make it make sense, Lee, because I don't think anybody can make sense of what happened and why the manager continues to pick this same bullshit lineup. Because that's what it is. And... At the end of the day, right, Thomas Party starting at right back. That was, you know, people blame Saka. And I get it. You know, that's a hospital pass by Saka. You shouldn't be making that. But then he also received a hospital pass from Kai Havertz in the build-up to that. And then at the same time, um, Aaron Ramsdale was well out of position for me. You know, he shouldn't be coming that far out of his box. I know I understand that he's got to play higher up the pitch because that's what the manager wants. But you shouldn't be that far out of your box. But it all comes back to, once again, Lee, the manager. Because if Ben White was playing right back today, do you think he would be trying to do this inverted thing? No, he wouldn't. And he probably would have received that pass from Bukayo Saka. Instead, there was a massive space left there because Thomas Partey decided to move back into the midfield um, too quickly, rather than staying out wide and doing his job defensively. And the reason for that is because he's a midfielder, not a right back. Um, it was a disgrace today, Lee. Uh, I'm sorry, but, you know, we cannot continue on like this. We, we've been saying this for weeks. It is unsustainable to keep playing like this. It is unsustainable to keep playing these players, you know, square pegs, round holes. Um, and we will get found out. And we got found out today. And we got what we deserved. In fact, we got more than what we deserved, Lee, because I don't think we deserve to come away from that game with anything, to be honest with you. The way we defended today, like absolute clowns. Um, and I said it last week, you know, that first half, then players look lost. There's not a single player for Arsenal that performed well today that was a standout performer, apart from the substitutes, which we'll get into yeah. in a minute, right? But... When you, when you line up in the way that Mikel Arteta has lined up today, and he has done for the past two weeks, and every single one of your players look lost, that should tell you something. This manager isn't... The, the, the system that he's playing, it's like they're learning something new, bro. It's like, it's like they, they've gone back to just relearning something over again. These players are looking around going, why on earth are we playing Thomas Party at right back? We've got Ben White. Yep. Why on earth, you know, uh, uh, is Gabriel not playing? Like, Why is Kivir at left back? Why is Havertz in the team? Yeah, like, and, and the mad thing is, is when you're playing in unnatural positions and you're playing multiple players in that and you're trying to incorporate new players that have just joined into that, Bro, you end up with what we got today and what we got last week and what we got the week before and what we got the week before. Yeah, because they're all looking around like we don't. It's like you've just picked eleven random people out of the crowd. Yeah, and let's and said, be oh, real. Game. Exactly, and let's be real, right? Let's be hundred percent honest here. And I don't think any Arsenal fan can argue with this. Any, even the Arteta sexuals and all that, right? They can't argue with this. Yes, going forward, we put. Fulham under a lot of pressure today. And that's basically the aim of the system, right? Is to be more attacking, have the ball more in the final third. But what did we actually do in the final third? Nothing. Fulham could have had three or four goals in the first half. 
Mate, Jimenez, Jimenez with his bicycle kick. The season. <laughs> yeah, Jimenez with his bicycle kick that just went wide. He should be scoring that, you know? And so the fact that we we have kind of got away with it a little bit today to be able to come out of there with a draw. But the performance was an absolute shambles. And the manager, yet again, is the one to blame for me. Like you say, shoehorning Kai Havertz into the team, who got dragged off at 60 minutes, and rightly so as well, because he was shocking again today. How many times does this guy want to miss opportunities? You know? In fact, I'll say it here and now, Lee. I miss Granite Xhaka. And you know me. I yep. hated Granite Xhaka. I couldn't stand Granite Xhaka. Granite Xhaka's really? levels above Havertz. Smith Rowe and, and Vieira are levels above Havertz. 100%. Yeah, hundred percent. I would be more confident with Smith Rowe in that team than Havertz. Hundred percent, bro. And he's Couldn't never agree fit. with you more. And, no, and the thing is, as well, right? Is the manager's substitutions changed the game for us today because Fabio Vieira had easily his best uh, uh, game in an Arsenal shirt for me. You know, yeah. he came on, he did very well. Even Eddie and Ketia did very well. I thought Trossard was actually reasonably poor for us today, and I know we've been you know, calling for him to start at number nine. But I don't think he had a great game. I don't think Martinelli had a great game or Saka. But you can't, again, Declan Rice didn't really have a great game. So you have to kind of look at why is it that we've got so many players that are playing poorly week in, week out right now. And it, it all comes back down to the system and the manager and the way that we're playing. You know, Gabriel sat on the bench. Why? Why? You know, him and Saliba, best um, defensive partnership last season, arguably, in the league. Why are you breaking that up? Why are you putting Ben White in centre-back when he was arguably the best right-back in the league last season? I don't understand any of this, right? And then on top of that, Lee, right, I, I'm going to talk about what people have been discussing this week, right? Because, of course, we've seen uh, Kieran Tierney leave the football club. He's gone on loan to Real Sociedad. And that... I'm fuming about that, right? I'm fuming about it, not for, you know, Tierney's sake, because at the end of the day, the guy had to leave the football club because he was being hella disrespected and, you know, having other players play in his position that not even left-backs. Like, that just don't make no sense to me. But people are excusing this, right, and saying, oh, well, it doesn't matter Kieran Tierney had to leave. He don't fit the manager's system. And look, while I understand he's that, he's not the right. Profile, why have we let the guy? He's not the right profile. Yeah. What does that even mean? What? Why? Why have we let the guy go on loan? What does that actually do for Arsenal? Right? You have no because buy we've option. Received, we've not received the transfer fee. There's no buy option or obligation in that deal at all. So all that's going to end up happening is we also start going to go. Well, do you know what? He's had a great season with us. We'll buy him. But we're only or, paying this amount of money. sources or, out in the Champions League and La Liga. Yeah. Ancelotti leaves at the end of the season to go Brazil. And Camavinga's playing left back. Modric and Cruz are retiring or leaving. Oh, Real Madrid want Kieran Tierney. Yeah. yeah. Or he comes back to Arsenal and we try and sell him yet again. So it doesn't make any sense, right? There's no sign of Arsenal going into the transfer market in the remaining five days. To address this situation where we've let Kieran Tierney go, we've got Yuri and Timber out with a long-term injury. So in yeah. actual fact, what we're left with is less defensive options than what we had last season. Yeah. And if the defensive options that we had last season wasn't good enough to win us the league, what on earth makes anybody think that they're good enough now to win us the league? Especially when we're playing Thomas Party at right back. Come on, be be real now. We've got David Reyes sat on the, uh, the bench. Mm. A, a lot of arguments would be had that he's better than Aaron Ramsdale. I'm telling you for a fact right now, David Reyes wouldn't be conceding that in the first minute. He wouldn't. No chance. He wouldn't. So, you know, once again, we're going back to... And then if we go back to last season as well, Lee, how many times did we watch Arsenal concede early goals in the first minute of the game last Leeds season? United, These players, Bournemouth... Like bro, these players haven't learned, bro. It's people. They haven't learned. But apparently they're all gonna grow together. Listen, my Mac's bugging out crazy as well. Yeah, I'm lagging like I'm MFR. Uh listen, Brandon, shout your channel out. What you got coming up, mate? 
Yeah, True Gunners TV. Uh, make sure you come over and subscribe, guys, because we will hold the standards of the football club high. It's Link not just leaders, is it, by the way? There are numerous of us. We're not part of a minority, and we won't be part of a minority by the time Christmas comes and everybody wants this manager sack because it will happen, right? Right. Um, my match reaction is coming up in the next 15 minutes, and, of course, I'll have plenty more content as well. So, yeah, head over there, guys. Happy days. On that bombshell, we're going to have to... Um, so let's see if I can end it.